We receive today's gospel as a word of hope. But to realize immediately before this gospel, a most distressing situation arises. Jesus alludes to his impending death. He plainly tells the apostles that he's going to be betrayed by one of the twelve, and the rest are going to scatter. And Simon Peter, the chief apostle, will betray him, will deny him. That's the context of Holy Thursday, the Last Supper. Jesus knew that his hour had come. He says, one of you will betray me. And the disciples look at one another, distressed, overcome. Jesus knows he's about to depart out of this world. Satan has now entered Judas Iscariot. And when he gets up to leave with the money bag, Jesus says to the rest, Little children, yet a little while I'm with you. You will seek me, but where I'm going, you cannot come. The apostles are confused and distressed. And Simon Peter questions, Lord, where are you going? Jesus answers, where I am going, you cannot follow me. And Peter says to him, Lord, why can I not follow you? I will lay down my life for you. But Jesus answers, Peter, will you lay down your life for me? Truly, truly, I say to you, the cock will not crow till you have denied me three times. This is a distressing time for the church, the apostles. Satan has entered Judas Iscariot. Simon Peter is told he will deny the Lord. And the apostles are troubled by the fact that Jesus is about to leave them. That's the context. And now comes Jesus' words. Do not let your hearts be troubled. You have faith in God. Have faith also in me. I wonder how many among us find ourselves afraid, distressed, troubled in our situation today, 2023. It could be the global situation and context. It could be our personal situation. On the personal level, maybe someone we know and love is in their hour of death right now or recently. And Jesus speaks these words, do not let your hearts be troubled. You have faith in God, have faith also in me. In my Father's house, there are many dwelling places. If there were not, what have I told you that I'm going to prepare a place for you? And there's a beautiful imagery here of the bridegroom and bride. In the Jewish context, once the groom and bride were married, but not yet living together, the groom would be separated, leave his bride for a while to go to his father's property to prepare a place to build a home for he and his bride. Then he would come back and take her to their home. This is Jesus, the bridegroom of the church, who goes to prepare a place for his bride, the church in heaven. For every one of us who have lost a loved one in our grief, this is the word of hope. But then there is the global context. In so many ways, these are distressing times. We see Satan has a grip in the world. It's last weekend in Boston, the world's largest gathering of Satanists just took place. And our government seemingly overnight, these laws that would seem uh, apocalyptic, 
somehow are being signed week after week. What's happening is diabolical. And then there were the words once spoken by Pope Paul VI, the smoke of Satan has entered the church, our very church divided in distress. In many ways, it's like Holy Thursday. We find ourselves in a situation like that of the Last Supper, and many of us are deeply troubled. And yet, yet, in this very moment, on Holy Thursday, what does Jesus say? Do not let your hearts be troubled. You have faith in God, have faith also in me. God, by the hand of his providence, is working things out. God's plan is being accomplished. Sometimes people say, wouldn't it have been great to live in the time of Jesus, to be one of the disciples who lived and walked with him, who followed everywhere he went? Okay, in many ways, yes. But what about being there when Judas betrayed Jesus? What about experiencing that distress of the apostles if we were at the Last Supper? What about seeing Peter's denial? What about living through the trauma of the crucifixion? What about all the following persecutions, arrests, and martyrdoms? This is what living at the time of Jesus entailed. So whether living on Holy Thursday 2,000 years ago in the upper room, or the Holy Thursday in many ways that we're experiencing today, in this part of the world, in our circumstances, global or personal, whatever they may be, Jesus for us says the same to receive these words. Do not let your hearts be troubled. You have faith in God, have faith also in me. I am the way, the truth, and the life. And I am the answer to every ill 